All right, this is the Sling Player app um, for the Boxy Box, and I'm just gonna do some quality tests, showing you guys how uh, how good it looks. I would say this is um, probably a standard definition. It's um, it kind of looks better with the camera here, but in reality, it's it's not. Uh, it's it's barely standard definition. It's pretty pixelated, and this is on uh, good quality. If I pump it up to better. It does look a little better. It has to restart the stream, which doesn't take that long, just a couple seconds. But it does seem to buffer a lot. And I, I'm not, it's got to be the app because um, I, I've got 6 megs down here. and I've tried it with tethering with my 4G, and it still buffers even on the um, better setting. Whatever this is, best. I'm looking. Yeah, better. Best I don't have because it's only on a H... Um, the bet at best, which is the HD, is only on the um, Slingbox Pro HD, and I'm only on the Solo now. So if we bump it down to basic, I'll show you how it looks. So it looks pretty terrible on basic. I usually have it on good, the middle setting. It's very, very pixelated on the setting. The sound quality is pretty bad, and... You guys can't really tell on here, but it's towards the bottom. You can, as you can tell, you can barely read them. So I'm gonna bump it back up to the middle. Like I said, I'm better. It buffers a lot. Maybe it's just because my six megs isn't enough. I know minimum is two megs, which uh, I'm way above that. So sometimes it has been pretty. It errors out switching between qualities, but just to fix it, I just uh, switch between. Um, switch between the qualities. In this case, it looks like it just needs to be powered on, which I'll now be able to show you. Oh, now it kicked on. I'll show you some of the settings here. Clicking the uh, the space bar on the boxy box remote brings up this menu. Which across the bottom there, you got your DVR. I don't have a DVR connected, so I don't have that um, option. I can pull up the program guide, which is just going to be all on screen. Um, which I'm not a fan of. You got quality there, sources, switch between different sources, and then uh, click on up, it'll take it up towards the top there, and you get your play, you know, your different uh, play options. Here you'll be your up, down, record, all that type of good stuff. Here you'll be able to enter your channel number. There's also an option to move over to uh, recently used or favorites. Um, and then you got your miscellaneous up here. Which there's three different ones. You can uh, clear, which I'm going to clear the menu. It just, it's crazy. It's through this camera, the lower quality that I put on here it looks better and the higher quality looks worse. I don't get this iPad camera. Nothing against it, it's just it's tough to find a good recording device. Um, so you got your input info, power, on, off, that type of stuff. You also have three screens you can play with. Um, See there in the middle, of the little, just through the little bubbles, you can move left to right and all that good stuff. Um, and then you got your channel up, down, power on, off. I usually power off when I'm done. Um, I'm going to go back here, show you how the numbering works. I'm going to go to channel 3. And I click enter, and as you can see, it does take a little bit to switch in between, but it's nothing, nothing earth shattering. Um, I don't mind it. And heck, Slingbox is getting me free cable off my parents' receiver, so they're fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm, I can deal with the quality. I don't have much of a problem. I mean, I, this is on the lowest quality, um, so I'm gonna switch back to the higher quality setting. Which is good. And I uh, will be all set. So that was the Sling Player application for the Boxy Box. Stay tuned for when I show you the differences between um, the Pro HD quality and the Solo. I'm pretty sure the Pro HD is going to give me a lot better quality because the, the Sling Box Solo can only do a certain resolution and 
because the resolution is so small, it looks terrible on larger screens and larger re resolution devices. So, that was the Sling Player application for the Boxy Box. I do like how they have it on the Boxy Box. There are not a lot of devices that do have um, Sling Player um, applications. They're supposed to come out with a Roku. I don't know if it's out now, and I believe the Western Digital Streaming Device they're looking at too. So I'm going to go ahead and power off the receiver, and this will be the one of the last videos I have for the Sling Player series um, and Slingbox series. So stay tuned for more videos. I have a lot more Slingbox applications coming soon. So stay tuned. Thank you.